Hello and welcome. This video is about the learning objective to compare and contrast the structure of typical animal and plant cell. Before we go in detail of an animal and plant cell, I would like to remind you a few important concepts about cells. The first is all living organisms are composed of cells and a cell is the basic unit of organism. It's exactly like the role of a brick in a big building. In general, living organisms are grouped into two major categories and they are prokaryotes. These are the living organisms lacking well-defined nucleus in their cell. Example is a bacterium like Escherichia coli. And the next group is of eukaryotes. These are the organisms having a nucleus in their cells besides several other structure when compared with prokaryotic cells. Now you want to compare and contrast a plant and animal cells. So first thing you keep in mind that both plant and animal cells have a well-defined nucleus. What that means? that they both are eukaryotic organisms. Now, I would like you to pay attention to these two cells. One is an animal cell that is here, and the other one is a plant cell over here. So beside a well-defined nucleus, plant and animal cell have several other common structure as well as specific structure. So first we go to specific structure, and uh, we go into the plant cell. You see in plant cell, there is a specific structure, chloroplast, and chloroplast makes the plant cells as well as the leaves green, whereas the animal cells, uh, there is no chloroplast in animal cell. Next is a plant cell has a cell wall, rigid cell wall around the cell. The animal cells do not have any cell wall. The third important feature, which is unique in plant cells, that plant cells have a large vacuole that is present within the cell, whereas the animal cells have a much smaller vacuole. So beside these specific structures uh, in a plant cell, if we go into the animal cells, the animal cells have a specific structure like centrosome that is not present in the plant cells. Now, what are the common structure in both uh, uh, animal and plant cell? And the first one is a nucleus. You see it, an animal cell has a nucleus and a plant cell also has a well-defined nucleus. Beside this, cell membrane, the external membrane in an animal cell is a cell membrane, whereas in plant cell, Beneath the cell wall, there is a structure cell membrane. Vacuole, as we discussed, that animal cells have smaller vacuole, whereas plant cell has larger vacuole. There is a presence of a rough endoplasmic reticulum. These are the ones which have ribosomes on them in both the plants as well as in animals. Both plants and uh, animal cells have a sac-like structure, which we call as a Golgi operators. Here it is uh, in the animal cell, and you find the same structure uh, in the plant cells also. Uh, there are uh, lysosomal structure in uh, both uh, uh, animal cell as well as uh, in plant cells. So ribosomes are present in both uh, animal cell as well as in plant cell. We will be talking each and every component of these cell in detail in the other lecture. And uh, there is also a uh, smooth endoplasmic reticulum in both the uh, plant cell as well as in the animal cell. Uh, of course, uh, the energy producing structure that is a mitochondria Mitochondria are present in uh, animal cell as well as in plant cell. So these are the few important uh, 
common and uh, unique structures found in both these uh, animal as well as plant cells. To highlight more about the major differences between plant and animal cell, here is a summary uh, comparing the plant cells with the animal cell. Plant cell has a chloroplast, animal cell no chloroplast. Plant cell has a cell wall that is made up of cellulose, animal cell no cell wall in animal cells. Plant cell has a large central vacuole present and uh, vacuoles are of smaller size in an animal cell. Uh, beside this, plant cell, uh, some of these cells, they have a plasmodesmata and no plasmodesmata in animal cells. In plant cell, uh, no cholesterol in cell membrane, whereas in animal cell, uh, in the cell membrane, there is a presence of cholesterol. Uh, plant cells, no centrioles, and in animal cell, there is a presence of centrioles. Uh, plant cells uh, store this glucose in the form of starch, whereas animal cells, they store uh, excessive glucose in the form of glycogen. Uh, plant cells, mostly fixed, and they have a regular shape, whereas animal cell, they have a fluid structure and they keep changing their shapes. Thank you very much for watching this video and all the best.